100 quail are released into the wild at Hempstead Harbor Trail in Port Washington. Now they have graduated flight school and they are ready to embark their own lives here um, in the town of North Hempstead. The birds are here to reduce the high tick population on Long Island by simply eating them as opposed to using pesticides. It's a very natural way to take care of our uh, ticks and keep us all healthy and safe during the summer. Ranger Eric Powers started this project 22 years ago when studying why the tick population is so high on the island. He found that the species that eats the ticks, the northern bobwhite quail, was declining. Why? Because of cats. These indoor outdoor cats are just having a profound negative impact on our ecosystem here. And, uh, and to get it back into balance, uh, we've got to um, we've got to adjust our culture to keeping our cats indoors. In the wild, about 20 percent of these quail survive, but he says with feral and indoor outdoor cats in the picture, their survival rate is even lower. With the help of local schools and libraries, the eggs were incubated and soon hatched. The Huntington Library participated, and Laura Giuliani is a volunteer. Our staff and patrons. Uh, we're thrilled to be part of that process. The birds are 12 weeks old and have reached their maximum size. Their vision is designed to look for small bugs like grasshoppers, bees, wasps, and more in fields and forests. And they will look to eat any of these bugs in abundance, especially ticks. And within this next week, hundreds more quail will be released throughout the island. In total, 900 will be flying free to help reduce the tick population.